Hey friends, welcome to one another new video. In this video, we will talk about Amazon FCS, how you can increase the limits and remove sandbox mode. So, lots of students ask me, hey, we apply for remove sandbox mode and to increase the limit, but Amazon reject our proposal. Why? So, this is what we will going to discuss in today's video. So guys, before proceed further, if you want more digital marketing videos, make money videos, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload new video. Now guys, also one more thing, if you want more Amazon SEOs videos, I've put all the videos related to Amazon SEOs in description box and I got. So now guys, see, when I have applied first time with Amazon SEOs on increase limits and remove sandbox mode, it has accepted my proposal in less than 24 hours. So for me, it was not a problem. But lots of students ask me, hey Kunal, when we have applied for proposal to increase limits and remove sandbox, Amazon rejects our proposal. Why? So what I did, I have asked those students to give their account and everything so that I can check what's the problem with that. So you know what? I have found lots of problems which they are doing because of that their proposal was rejected by Amazon SES. So what are these things? See, first is misleading accounts. See, if you are not new to Amazon or if you are already an Amazon customer and your past behavior was not good with Amazon, then that can be the case for your proposal rejection. If there is a problem in your payment method, maybe if, if there is a problem with your credit card, debit card or any payment method which you have selected to pay Amazon, if there would be any problem, then that can be the also reason Amazon has rejected your proposal. Now, third thing is new customer. So if you are a very much new customer and want to remove the limits and remove the sandbox. So, so first of all, if you are new to Amazon as a customer, so you have to make Amazon proof that you are not a spammer. What is the best practices? You have to have one website. I have seen my students, they don't have website. So, you know, Amazon might think if this person has not have any website, so so in which way he's collecting emails okay so you know whenever you just send proposal to amazon first he checks about your website from where you are collecting email so please mention that if you have a landing page or website so please mention it because my students don't have website that's the main reason amazon was rejecting to them if i will take you to my website bingcommerce.in when you will click blogs guys here you will going to see sign up forms okay so you know when i have sent proposal to amazon so amazon has accepted because amazon know that kunar or bing commerce collect emails from their email forms which they have mentioned in their website okay so this is what i am trying to say you friends always have a website and have form there so that amazon can understand that you are collecting from a legitimate way and you are not a spammer okay so this will help you to prove amazon that you are a good customer not a spammer so now guys, Amazon asks you how much emails you want to send. So I have seen people directly say that I want to send around 100k emails per month or etc etc. So guys, this can be the also reason for your proposal rejection. So if you are very much new to Amazon, so first demand very less, then increase your demand slowly slowly. That means when you first demand Amazon to increase the limits, so just tell them that I want around 1k to 100k emails per day or for per month if you will directly ask that i want 1 million emails etc etc if you if your demand will be new as a new customer then that can be a case that your proposal can get rejected so please keep these four things in mind these are the four things i have found in my students which has led to rejection of their proposal to increase the remits and remove sandbox mode so please follow these four procedures it will definitely going to help you a lot so friends this was all about today's video before we end the video please follow us on instagram 39000 plus followers also you can follow us on facebook page 95000 plus followers also if you want lots of amazon ses tutorials like how it works pricing and everything you can check the videos i put the videos in cars and i have also put the videos related to amazon ses in description box please check it it will definitely going to help you a lot. So guys, this was all about today's video. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.